Hello everyone, I'm here at Animal Lakers for my birthday celebration and I'm really excited because I have my friends and family with me and I'm just so excited to show them how amazing and sweet and smart all the different fam farm animals are. We have cows, pigs, a bunch of stuff and I really could not think of a better place or a better way to spend my birthday and with my furry animal friends. Thanks for coming. With amazing beauty and a sparkling personality, 22-year-old Haley Marie Norman is an acclaimed actress and lovable vegan from California, USA. She's appeared on popular TV series like Crash, produced by Don Cheadle and starring Dennis Hopper, Boston Public and The Young and the Restless, and in films such as Fired Up, Norbit with Eddie Murphy, and Hancock alongside Will Smith and Charlize Theron. She was also one of the most favorite models featured on the NBC game show titled Deal or No Deal. The lovely Haley Marie Norman was both determined and destined in her successful career early on. Her unique beauty to start with features an abundance of curls everyone loves and pays tribute to her combined Russian, German, and African American heritage. When I was a little girl, um, I was at a restaurant um, and I was with my family and Cindy Crawford was there, and I guess she like came over to my dad and was like, this is my agent's card, your daughter should be a model or whatever. So my parents like took me to her agent, and her agent, um, it was obviously one of the top agencies, um, and they didn't represent children as young as I was, but they referred me to a woman who did. So I started off doing like, um, you know, a lot of print work and then commercials and a little bit of TV work. Signing with her first agency at age seven, Haley Marie also became a member of the Screen Actors Guild the same year. Notably, she appeared in a series of ads for toy giant Mattel's African American Barbie doll. It's cool because my family still has like a lot of the boxes and you know the toys and stuff that I used to be on. When I was younger, I just was excited that I would get a toy, you know, because we had to buy the box to like put in my portfolio. But I didn't even care that I was on it. I just wanted a new Barbie. Oh, that's <laughs> cute. By age seven, Haley knew she wanted to be an actress. The dream hasn't changed since, and she has worked diligently towards it with her early professional modeling work and dance training. Her parents supported her own decision to move to a performing arts high school where she spent summers in extra studies at prestigious universities. Haley then graduated from the American Academy of Dramatic Arts, a respected full-time theater conservatory. I have also made it a point to continue my studies, you know? I think it's important to continue to hone your craft because things are like always changing. Haley's dedicated efforts paid off as role after role were offered, ranging from big time movies to a recurring role on a top soap opera. Many people first fell in love with Haley when she stood out as the enthusiastic, outgoing briefcase model number 25 on NBC's nationally broadcast game show, Deal or No Deal. My favorite part of being on the show generally was to be a part of someone's you know, dreams coming true and making their lives better. I would be like really rooting for the people and really wanting them to do well. And then we did a whole episode around like my hair because the contestant had the hair like mine. That was probably my favorite episode. You've worked with some quite reputable actors such as Will Smith, Dennis Hopper, Forrest Whitaker, America Ferrara and uh, Tay Diggs. Mm -hmm. Uh, can you share with us some of your fondest memories of these? Um, yeah, well, Will Smith, I'll start with him. He is so sweet. He is like one of the, the nicest people that you'll ever meet and really funny and really down to earth. Dennis Hopper, is he was someone that I really respected um, before I, I got to work with him and that my respect for him, you know, grew even more after working with him. 
Forrest Whitaker was also really sweet, and that was a really special experience for me because Forrest Whitaker is my dad's favorite actor. Oh. My dad actually drove me to set the day that I was working, and, and I knew how proud he was, um, and being able to make him that proud meant a lot for me. And same with Deal or No Deal, it was my grandma's favorite show. Being able to do something that she could, you know, watch on TV that already she loved was really, really awesome. For her family's love and support, Haley is grateful. In fact, no matter how high and fast she soars, the gifted actress always counts her blessing. Every time I get a part, I can't believe that it's me. You know what I mean? I just feel so lucky. Uh, what are your most memorable experiences as a star? Um, as a star, that's funny. <laughs> I love when I'm out like at an event or doing a red carpet event or something and somebody comes up to me and they're like, mentioned something that I did or said that impacted their life. Somebody came up to me and was like, oh, I follow you on Twitter and you're always tweeting about that like veganism stuff, aren't you? And I was like, yes, I am. A couple weeks later, he was like, so now I'm vegan, you know? And I think that I feel so lucky that I th we've all been given a voice. A committed vegan for over two years, the vivacious Haley Marie Norman has also been, for the same time, a dedicated advocate for her fans and others to find out about the lifestyle. You are an animal activist yeah. and a vegan, and you're a guest contributor on the vegetarian, eco-friendly and animal rights website, thisdishisvegetarian.com. Yeah. Uh, tell us how this came about. I truly think it's the thing that I'm like most proud and excited about and, and that I feel so passionate about. It just happened one day, and it's like changed my life for the better. It's not just about the, the diet for me, that's like the last part of it. It's about the world and making the world such a better place. People who don't know, they're so shocked to hear that meat is ruining the environment, that eating dairy is r destroying our ecosystem. And even if it wasn't factory farming, you know, um, if I just owned like my own farm and like had a pig, like I wouldn't, I wouldn't, I wouldn't ask that pig t to give its life for me, you know? I don't think that it's right. I don't want to put any uh, any creature through that, and I don't want to then, you know, ingest their pain and their suffering. Right. They actually say um, pigs have the intelligence of a three-year-old child. I know. Yeah. I know. And three-year-old kids are smart, you know? And people love their three-year-old kids. People love their three-month-old kids. You know, they know stuff. And we, don't, we don't give animals the, um, the credit that they deserve, you know? I have two dogs. Um, Lucy and Miyagi. Lucy is a French bulldog and Miyagi is um, part Chow, part German Shepherd, and he is a rescue. Um, and I love them so much. I actually have dog print um, tattoos here, just to, like, just to symbolize like, my, my love for them and everything that they've done for me in my life. You know, they bring me so much happiness. How did you feel after you became vegan? What no uh, changes have you noticed? I honestly feel so much better, like in every way possible. I just feel happier and calm and like less anxious. Nothing else has changed in my life. You know, it's a direct attribute to what I'm putting in my body. I shouldn't have to eat ammonia and, and chemicals and hormones because it saves them money. You know, my life is more important than that. And everybody, everybody on this planet's life is a lot more important than that. So I eat out at vegan places. I'm not giving my money to someone who's going to, you know, tear down a rainforest. I'm giving my money to somebody who's gonna help make this world a better place. And being part of that cycle, I think is so awesome. My favorite vegan dishes, I love fresh vegetables and fruits in a way that I never thought before. I have a sweet tooth. I get to eat, you know, <laughs> vegan ice cream. I eat it all the time, probably way too much, you know? I love vegan pizza. You're making me hungry the way you talk about it. <laughs> I'm making myself hungry. I'm like wanting to eat all those things now. Like After the interview, we invited Haley and her wonderful vegan boyfriend to a fun and tasty dinner at One Veg World Vegan Cuisine Restaurant. 
Oh my gosh, there's so much food here. I love it. And it's all delicious. I thought the pho was phenomenal. Are these the Oh my god, they look so good. Look at these. Oh my gosh, vegan food is so delicious. Like you can still have all your favorite food and make it vegan. It's so easy. I'm so excited to dig in. <laughs> Hi, I'm Haley Marie Norman, and I'm here at One Veg World, finishing off my divine chocolate ice cream. It is so good. I keep putting all the pictures online right now. I don't care like how busy my schedule is or what I have going on. If somebody asks me about veganism, I will answer. I don't care what I'm doing. Like that will be become my most important thing. Like you want to know about veganism? Check this out. Check this out. Like giving people the information. I think that the majority of people, if they were presented with the information, they would become vegan. Do you have a message for our viewers? I want to just say, like, thank you for watching. And not thank you for watching me, but thank you for being, like, open to this channel and to, like, what this channel stands for and being a part of it. And, um, I think the message would just be to stay, you know, true to who you are and you have to do what's right for you. You have to know what's right for you and you can't be scared to not take the other opportunity. Recently, we were delighted and honored to be invited to Haley's birthday celebration at Animal Acres, a vegan rescue and refuge for farmed animals. So I'm here at Animal Acres for my birthday and I'm really excited because this past Thanksgiving, instead of eating a turkey, I adopted one. <laughs> and instead of Thanksgiving, I named him Hank S. Giving. So we adopted him from Animal Acres, which is where we are. So my mission today is to find my turkey, Hank S. Giving. He's one of the ones over there. Let's see if we can, if, if we can find him. <laughs> that's him. Where? Look, look oh at that's him. So handsome. Look at that's him. Cause look, he's got the ring. Oh, he's like one. Well, the, the mark that we thought was the defining mark, we just realized is like on four of the turkeys. But I, <laughs> I still like it. You think it's the shorter one? I think it's the shorter one. Hank. 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 Oh, it's that one. I think it's that one, guys. Oh. The small one. Yeah, I think so too. Mission accomplished. Hank. We found my Hank. You are beautiful inside and out, Haley. With best belated birthday wishes for your continued success, we thank you and love you for being a vibrant vegan inspiration as you shine in all your endeavors. May you and the cherished ones in your life be blessed evermore. Happy viewers, thank you for joining us today on Vegetarian Elite. Coming up next is Between Master and Disciples. May joy and kindness be with you at every moment. Hi, I'm Haley Marie Norman, and I'm proud to say that I'm a vegan. You are watching Supreme Master Television. Please, be veg, go green to save the planet. To find out more about Haley Marie Norman, visit twitter.com forward slash XO Haley Marie. For more details, please visit www.suprememastertv.com forward slash VE. Mm -hmm.